Hey everybody, Mr. McIntosh here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the Apple Silicon personalization error after you've reinstalled macOS. Some users are still getting this error, and Apple has just put out a brand new support document going over multiple steps to help you get past this if you're still having this issue. We're going to do a live demo here to walk through those steps, so hopefully we can get your MacBook Air or MacBook Pro or Mac Mini Apple Silicon device back working again. Let's jump right in. Okay, before we jump into the live demo to show you guys the fix, I wanted to give you a quick overview and an update of what's currently going on with this issue. Apple has just put out a support document that acknowledges that this is an issue, and they also show you multiple fixes and ways to get this issue resolved. Before, when people would bring in their Apple Silicon Mac when they had this error, there's no way to get past it. And I'll scroll down so you can see this error. If you have an Apple Silicon Mac and try to reinstall macOS via macOS recovery, you're going to get an error occurred preparing the update, failed to personalize the software update, try again. This is an, a defect in version 11.0 and 11.01 if installed on your Apple Silicon Mac. Apple knows about this and they're looking to put this into a fix in 11.1 .1 that's currently in beta right now. And I'll let you guys know when I have any kind of information if this is a confirmed fix and, and that's put into 11.1. .1. But the problem is that any Mac that's sitting on the store shelves right now is gonna have this issue. But the reason why this isn't a widespread issue right now is because most people aren't going to reinstall Mac OS on a brand new Mac. They're just gonna use it and, and they're not gonna have this problem. But let's say you wanted to perform some testing or you just, whatever, you, it's your Mac and if you wanted to reinstall Mac OS, you should be able to. But if you do, this is the air that you're gonna get. Apple was saying when people were bringing this into the Apple Store or calling support, they were basically saying, well, it, unless you have a, a second Mac to do a DFU restore, you guys have seen my videos going over how to do that, you will have to either return the device or do a DFU restore. That's why I put together those DFU restore videos to get them out there as soon as possible to walk you through the new process. And I'll put a link in the description to those if you wanted to take a quick peek at those to walk you through that process. But again, a lot of people are not gonna have a second Mac so they're going to need to figure out a fix for this without a second Mac. What is that fix? Well, let's go and look at that document. I've got that and we'll pull that up here. Well, the first thing you want to be able to do, and this is Apple's first fix, use a USB installer to just to create a USB installer with Mac OS Big Sur 1101 and then boot to that and then reinstall. And I got a video that explains that entire process and walks you through because it's different now on Apple Silicon, so I walk you through that. Now, the second one is the one we're gonna do live in this demo, and let's jump right in. All right, I've got the article up here that goes over the steps that we're gonna need to take here, and I've also got another screen right here that's an Apple Silicon Mac, and we're gonna be able to do the live demo on here. So this is what the, the, the support document says. If you get a personalization error when reinstalling Mac OS on your Mac with an Apple M1 chip, while reinstalling a message that an error occurred while preparing the update will show up. If you erased your Mac with an Apple M1 chip before updating to a Mac OS Big Sur 1101, you might be unable to reinstall Mac OS from recovery, just like I mentioned earlier. A message might say an error occurred while preparing the update, failed to personalize the update, please try again. Use either of these solutions to reinstall Mac OS. You should then be able to use Mac OS recovery as expected when reinstalling Mac OS in the future. Notice how I mentioned that 11 Point one will fix this issue for sure. I say this because if you look at this, it says if you updated your 1101 or Mac to 1101 first, you should not have the issue. I'm still getting people that are saying that they've got 111 on 1101 and they're still getting the issue. So that's why it's a little bit dicey right now to try to figure out what's going on. It seems though, like I, I don't have the issue anymore after I've updated my Apple Silicon Mac to 1101 but other people are having it. So that's why we're kind of going over this and we're, we're not totally sure yet. And it looks like the fix will totally come in 11.1. .1. Okay, for the fix. Again, like I mentioned earlier, a bootable installer. What would happen is, is that we'll plug in and we'll do this right now so you can see this. Let me just get my driver up quick here. So all you would do is you would plug in your, your USB thumb drive that you created and you plug it in and it should show up here in the boot picker selection menu. And we'll see if this shows up here. It should give it a second here. All right, there's our 1101 USB flash drive that's plugged in. All you would need to do is just click continue in here 
and boot into USB installer and then reinstall macOS that way. That's that's easy and I've already got a video if you want to do that. We need to jump into the more advanced part if you don't have a flash drive or you don't have the ability to do that because that's your only Mac. So that's why we're going to jump right into the second one. So we're going to select the recovery and boot right to it. Give it a second here. All right, so we're in macOS recovery. And the first thing it's telling us to do is open terminal and macOS recovery. Turn your Mac and continue to get into recovery. We already did this and then now we're at this menu bar, as you can see. Now, what we wanna do is we want to go up to the, ter the utilities menu and select terminal from the menu bar. So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna select utilities, we're gonna go to terminal. So now it says that once we've got terminal open here, we're gonna make the window, let's see if we can make the window a little bit bigger here. You now it's hard to see. This is using a capture card here. We're gonna type in reset password. Enter. Now as soon as we do that, we can close this terminal window here. And then a screen will come up right behind it. Now this is a reset password screen. And you'll get this if you if you have File Vault 2 enabled on your device on your Apple Silicon Mac and you want to get into recovery. This is what you'll see normally. And if you know the password, you'll t you'll click on this right here and you'll log right in. But if you don't, there's a button you can click to set a reset password and then you can type in the recovery key and reset your password. But the reason behind this is to get this menu come up because we're gonna be able to get to the recovery assistant menu now. So if we click on that up here in the menu bar, we now have a new option to erase Mac. So let's click on that and show you what happens. Now it says erase Mac. If you can't log in your computer because you forgot your password, you can reset it now. What, what this is saying is, is that we need to select erase Mac here. This is the option that you wanna click here. And it's saying, are you sure that you want to erase your Mac? All your media and settings in this Mac will be permanently erased. And yes, we do. Let's do that now. And there it goes. It's going to erase the Mac and it's going to reboot the system and it's going to come back up into Mac OS recovery. And it's going to say that you need to reinstall Mac OS. So we'll give it a second here. After the, yes, it says that the, the Mac will reboot and then it'll come up to a choose your language prompt during startup. And we'll have to select our, our language and then it'll see, we'll see an alert that the version of macOS on the selected disk needs to be reinstalled. Click macOS utilities. There's that language menu that they just talked about. And we're gonna click next after you select your language. And we're gonna get that alert box that we talked about for the activate your Mac. And here we go. You wanna select a uh, Wi-Fi network. And we're gonna select a Wi-Fi network. Okay, I selected the Wi-Fi and it's immediately activating the Mac now. We'll give it a second here. We'll go back to our instructions. And that says, yep, it says when activating, it requires internet connection. We've just put in our Wi-Fi information. And when your Mac is activated, click exit to recover utilities. And then we're going to do that right here. Okay, now we're back at Mac OS recovery. We can go into disk utility and erase the drive. Even though we just erased the drive with that function of erase Mac, it leaves the container named as untitled. So we'll go into Disk Utility here, and we're gonna erase the drive again, and we'll rename it Macintosh Hard Drive like it should. So just click on the Untitled, go over here to click Erase, and then we'll name it Macintosh Hard Drive, and we'll hit Erase. Give it a second here, that's it. We'll close out of Disk Utility, and we'll select Reinstall Mac OS Big Sur. Continue, and agree, and agree again. Select the hard drive, and click Continue. And that's it. Hopefully this solves your issue and now you didn't even need another Mac. There is an additional step, and I'll click over here, that tells us that we can basically um, do some additional steps by downloading Mac OS Big Sur install assistant package through terminal to do the install, but I don't think we need to do this. Most of the people that followed the at least these two steps, first, try with a USB installer drive. If that doesn't work, try this step that we just did here. And if that doesn't work, we can try this, but I don't think, like I said, that's really pushing it. Hopefully all these pieces that we went over here has helped you reinstall Mac OS Big Sur on your Apple Silicon Mac. If it still doesn't work, let me know in the comments and maybe we'll try this other step, but I think that's really pushing it though. So anyway, guys, I hope this video created value. If it did, consider subscribing and clicking that like button and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot.